Hello and welcome. From the title of this video, you already know what this delivery is all about. But does it work? Can I get it to work? And what can I do with it? The Surveyor MSQ Plus, made by Thermo Scientific, is a single quadrupole mass spectrometer that operates on two injection mode, electrospray and atmospheric pressure chemical ionization. More on that later. This unit seems to be in fair condition and only required a few minor repairs and it also came with the computer and the operating software Excalibur. Despite its age, this is a very powerful setup with amazing ability for the amateur like myself to conduct all kinds of analysis. So the sample comes through this port and travel to the injection area of the instrument where it is ionized in two ways. Electrospray is preferred for polar compound like water and those easily broken down chemicals. A PCI works best with low polarity chemicals like hexen, for example. In electrospray mode, the sample passes through a nozzle held at a few thousand volts and is ionized in a mist in front of the sampling cone, also held at a high voltage. Out of these values, voltage's current polarity can be set in the software. Inside the instrument, the ionized particles travels in a vacuum passing through ion lenses before entering the quadrupole. This is a four parallel metal rod held at an AC and DC voltages creating an electric and magnetic field arranged in such a way the ion can be selected. And since they should theoretically have the same electric charge, the mass is the only property affecting their trajectory. In reality, this is a bit more complicated, but uh, let's keep this video fun and interesting for now. The selected ion that passes through the quadrupole can then reach the detector where it creates a signal to be amplified and read by the computer. This unit can read between 17 and 2000 atomic mass unit with a scan speed of 12,000 AMU per second. This instrument is better used for large organic chemicals and the software is very good at identifying them despite the fragmentations, multi-charged species and other adduct ions. But this may be beyond the scope of this uh, video. The mass spectrometer is very good at identifying pure chemicals but a mix of even a few molecules can rapidly become a very complex mass. A chromatograph is often the sample source for the intake of the mass spec. That way, pure chemicals pre-separated by the chromatograph can easily be identified by the mass spectrometer. But enough of the theory. Let me share a few preliminary results and analysis. Once turned on, warmed up and after a stable vacuum was established, I tried to tune it with this uh, solution of sodium bromide, cesium iodide at 100 parts per billion. I use sodium, cesium and iodide because of a wider mass range and because they contain only one stable isotope. Bromine has two, which allow me to fine-tune and observe the isotopic ratio and the power of separation of this instrument. I am really surprised how accurate and how well this thing performs. For an older used spectrometer found on eBay and shipped by truck from across the country, these first results are very encouraging and I'm very satisfied. Of course, I'm still working on details and fine-tuning, but this did not require much work, frustration and digging for parts like some of my previous projects. Here, I took a look at another element rich in isotope, mercury, and the results speak for themselves. Not every isotope were detected, but most of them were in consistent ratio with natural mercury. On the organic side, I tried isopropanol and citric acid with mixed results. But like I said, this is still work in progress and there is much more to be done and explore. I have a few ideas for future analysis and where to take this uh, project, but I also get very good suggestions from viewers and subscribers, so don't hesitate to reach out with comments, advice and ideas. And constructive criticism is always welcome. So this is probably not your first YouTube video and you know what to do, thumbs up if you like it, subscribe if you want, Patreon, bell, share. I hope to see you again on the next one and thank you for watching. Damn it!